This is Twit. But in the meantime, luckily, uh, we can reset the counter on OnePlus. Uh, it's been a while. <laughs> since, it's been a while since OnePlus has had a had a marketing gaffe or some sort of uh, uh, forehead moment, slap the forehead moment. But uh, for those tracking and uh, following this along, this has been a very amusing story. I saw this a couple of days ago, and I just laughed. So the OnePlus Eight Pro has a color filter camera on it, right? Um, but it was perplexing. Uh, because a lot of people thought it was an X-ray camera, which it is not. It is an IR camera, uh, and it can see through certain kinds of plastics and in some cases see through fabric, um, but it just led a lot of people to thinking that OnePlus had quietly launched an X-ray camera, which is just baffling. Um, so OnePlus is going to be pushing out you an know. update to the... What's OnePlus up? is going to be pu- OnePlus is going to be pushing out an update to the Oxygen OS in coming weeks to disable this camera, um, and it's already disabled the camera in Hydrogen OS, uh, the operating system that's in the Chinese market. Um, but for a moment, I was like, "Hey, man, I got to get one of those X-ray cameras." You know, I I went through my house with the OnePlus Eight Pro and the 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 photochrome filter, which is what I have running right now. So. You know, OnePlus, you haven't disabled it yet. And I pointed this thing at every little black piece of technology in my home, and I could hardly get anything to show. The only the only thing that I could even get any sort of like, oh, I can see the inside just barely was my uh, – it's an insignia Google Home clock that we have here. Mm-hmm. And it was just – it was just barely. It was like I could yeah. see – these tiny little dots that I couldn't see to the naked eye. Um, so yeah, it works, but it's very like very specific as far as what kind of devices. Apparently it works really well on an Apple TV. Interesting. I wonder. What a bizarre, but, um, why put it, why put an infrared camera filter or not or filter, whatever, but infrared camera software in there at all. I'm just trying to think what, what use case that solves. I, right. Well, and that was that boggled my mind when I reviewed the OnePlus 8 Pro to begin with. It's like they literally, you know, all this camera hardware that you see on the phone, one of these things, which is, you know, when you add it up, like each of those components adds cost to the device. One of those right. is an infrared camera that's meant to be a photo filter. It just doesn't make sense. Like, I, I don't understand right. their rationale if it's. It takes really interesting looking photos, this one like filter, like we've done filters for years. We've done filters that didn't require extra hardware. Why is that there and why are we paying for it? Um, maybe so, it's there because I don't know. What do you think, Mateo? So um, I have heard about this before, and this was something that was demoed to us, I believe, at MWC last year in, in 2019. And it was uh, for smartphones that are used for for business purposes. So the ones that you, for example, your Amazon delivery person will be scanning your parcels with. And in some contexts, to calibrate infrared blasters, such as the ones you get on smartphones like Xiaomi or Huawei that have the infrared blaster at the top, to calibrate them, you use the camera on the smartphone to copy the, the signal that's being sent by another remote device with an infrared blaster. So this is something that is a very niche product. It may Mm. just be that OnePlus uh, or their parent company sourced a vast number of these sensors and repurposed them for use in the devices. And the basic firmware for that component and the drivers were still the same as as originally. And no one really tested it properly. But mm. this isn't—it it isn't completely unheard of. It is a very niche area of uh, the mobile industry where those infrared cameras are, actually have a practical use. Interesting. That's yeah. a very specific use case. Very. It's a very specific right? use case. But th- yeah. this is my my take on why we're seeing this in the in the OnePlus devices. They didn't really bother going in depth into this, they said, oh, look, we can get this filter effect, throw it into the camera settings uh, without actually testing it properly. Mm. Well, and that's what I think is really confusing to me. I feel like, um, you know, anyone who's creating a smartphone, especially the big names that are creating smartphones, there has to be a lot of thought about every single component that goes in there because it either drives up the cost or it adds like perceived value for the consumer. This particular feature, like OnePlus did 
almost no like promotion or teasing about like why it was there. It was just like, and it's got a, a color filter camera. Okay. But still people were scratching their heads. Well, why does it have that? We already do color filters. There was no real messaging or it feels like any real thought as far. And, and if there was thought, it certainly hasn't been communicated why that hardware even exists. And now OnePlus has to go in and deactivate the hardware. So you're still paying for the cost of the hardware that you can't use it's just weird. It's just it's a strange move. I feel like that's, that's uh, a journey. That's plus. a journey. We ju that's a journey you just took us on of insanity. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like like that. That's just crazy. But it's one. Yeah, it's one it's plus. A, I don't know why I, why I should be surprised. Th right. Then again, uh, at the scale one plus is at at the moment, uh, that they probably got a really good deal on those components. I was just gonna say. <laughs> True. Take the free I mean, stickers, nice. guys. Just take the free stickers. It's fine. You always want them. <laughs> it's nice. We're paying you to put this color, this color filter on your phone. That's that's how good a deal it was. We're giving Great. you money back. 